To cite an online newspaper or magazine article with an associated print periodical, we will begin with the author information. After presenting the author's last name, we will include a comma. We then provide the author's first initial. If the author's middle initial is given, we should provide that as well. Finally, we end the author portion of the citation with a period. If you have two authors, your citation will look like this. After the first author's name, we will provide a comma, an ampersand, and the second author's name. Please note that this author is also given as last name, first initial. If your article has three or more authors, we will continue to repeat this pattern. If an article you are citing has more than 19 authors, you will provide the first 19 authors, then insert an ellipses, three periods. Finally, you will list the last author's name. It is important to note that for more than 19 authors, you do not include an ampersand before the last author's name. Once we have provided all the author information, we then need to provide the publication date. After inserting an opening parentheses, we then give the date the article was published. We will first give the year, followed by a comma, and then the month and the day that the article was published. If you do not have all of this information, we should give the information that we do have in the same order. We then insert a closing parentheses and a period. Next, we will provide the article title. Within the title of the article, there are only three words that we capitalize. The first word of the article, the first word of any subtitle, and any proper nouns. Everything else is lowercase. We then conclude the article title section with a period. Next, we provide the name of the newspaper or magazine. The name of the newspaper or magazine is provided in italics. Also, as opposed to the article title, the title of the newspaper or magazine is capitalized normally. We then end this section with a period. Finally, we provide the URL where we found the article. This is then followed by a period. By providing this set of information in this order, we make it easy for a reader to find and validate the information that we are providing within our papers.